Don't show up to my show if you've got no energy. Energy. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Psycho or Sam here and in this video we're gonna talk about switching over from Unity to Unreal Engine and vice versa. If you enjoyed this video guys, make sure to hit that like button down below, it really supports me a lot. And also subscribe if you wanna stay up to tune for new cool content like this and let's get started with the video. So first and foremost, I wanna start off with the absolute basic of this. Everything regarding to which one is the best and which one is the worst it's all biased, so don't listen to people who are like, well, Unity is the best one, or, oh, Unreal Engine is the best one, you know, you can't achieve this in Unity, or you can't achieve this in Unreal Engine. It's all biased, don't listen to these kind of people, because they're just going to manipulate you into learning a different game engine that isn't going to fit you, because these people often don't know that Picking a game engine is really just up to you because you need to see for yourself what features do these game engines offer me. Well, I'm trying to make, let's say you're trying to make a 3D game, like an FPS game, and you're like, well, I want my game to have good graphics, I want my game to be, you know, worked on easily, so I want to have an easy workflow. So you're supposed to use the different engines that you have a, a option of choosing between, and then, you know, pick the one that fits you the best. But people that are new to this industry don't know about this because the only thing they see is a big competitive branch where game engines are being compared to each other by people who are just like, use this engine because I am biased or use this engine because the other one sucks. And people just get confused when they see this. So I'm trying to be a little bit unique here and just telling you the honest truth, guys. Use the one that fits you the best, and if you want to learn which one suits you the best, go ahead and use it. Go ahead and use it for a while. Um, place the thought of making a serious game, long project on the table for the moment. Focus on making smaller projects on every or each of these engines that you have an option of, and um, each engine like you want to compare to each other, basically and just see which one suits you the best in terms of workflow, in terms of graphics, in terms of how quickly you learn how to work on the game engine. Because I can tell you this, if you're gonna make a long varying project or long living project that you're gonna be working on for a period of six months or so, you need an engine that you're gonna feel comfortable working on. If you start working on a game in a different engine that you don't really feel comfortable with, after like fourth, like the fourth month of your project, it's gonna be very difficult for you to switch over because it's going to be quite a bit in the project, and it's not really going to be suited by or like compatible in the the different engine that you want to switch over to. So, it's really good to you know learn what engine fits you the best first and foremost, and then get on get along with creating your game. And there's also this rumor by a lot of people who want to switch over to like Unreal Engine from Unity, who are like, well, I want to switch over to Unreal Engine because Unity has terrible graphics. It doesn't support my game's graphics. Like I can't get AAA quality. Uh, this is false. So let me tell you this. Unity can be used to achieve good graphics like in Unreal Engine. You can make photorealistic graphics and cartoon graphics, whatever you want to create actually. But the only difference is that it takes more practice in Unity. I actually have a very good comparison video between Unity and Unreal Engine in terms of graphics, so if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description down below, guys. I really strongly suggest you to check it out if you're on this path and you're like, Unity doesn't have good graphics, because that's a very, very false allegation. And um, I want you to make sure that, you know, I, I just want to make sure that you guys know that Unity can be used for good graphics too. I'm not saying, but obviously, I just want to also put it out because I... Once again, I have to be honest here. Even though I use Unity by, like by uh, by far for my main projects, I still have to be honest and say, Unity takes more practice because these standard effects aren't that very good on Unity. And if you really want to like reach the level of quality in Unreal Engine represented by the standard effects in UE4, you need to purchase a few assets. The standard assets that come with Unity in terms of image effects and post processing they aren't enough. Um, if you want to have a professional looking game, you're going to have to purchase a few assets. And I have a top three video too, where I list these assets that are really just essential for your games. So if you want to check them out, there will be a link in the description once again for that video as well. So I strongly suggest you to check it. But basically, I ju I'm just trying to be as honest as it gets. Unity is going to be, you, you can use Unity to definitely make really good graphics. I mean, if you don't really believe me, check out my level designs. Because I 
personally believe that they look really good in terms of visual quality. So, um, you know, you can use it for good graphics, but you just have to practice it a lot more than what UE4 is. In UE4, you just go in, create a new scene, and you have good graphics. And then you literally have a camera which lists all the post-processing right there, and you can just enable and disable them. One thing worth noting, by the way, when you're actually trying to switch over or actually picking a engine, one of these at least, is the fact that Unity offers no built-in visuals coding so you have to learn programming no matter what you do. You can't only live on assets created by other people. You need to, even if you like say you purchased or downloaded 100 total assets for editor extensions, codes, scripting, characters, 3D models, level designing, whatever, like literally whatever you can name, you still have to learn programming and you still have to learn Unity, which isn't really that difficult as it sounds, in order to actually connect them to each other. Because you don't want a game which isn't really that compatible with other things. Like you want a game that you can actually come back to and work on, patch, you know, update the game and then actually release these patches so that the players can actually enjoy the game in a new, varying, different scenario. However, it's worth noting though that Unity has a lot of assets that are you're going to support your visual coding needs if you need that and if not you know you're going to be good to go with programming but if you're the type of level designer or whatever designer who's just going to work on a game and you need visual coding because you don't have the time or resources to put into coding then you can still download or purchase some assets through the Etsy store actually even one is enough to have visual coding. One of these assets is called Playmaker it's really good and it's going to support visual coding and um, you're gonna be able to set up events that are going to unfold in your game, which is then going to result in different events also unfolding. So by that, you're going to be able to create your own codes, which is in quotation marks or code marks. But like, the, I'm, I'm once again, I am biased here, but when I say this, I'm very biased, but I'm the type of programmer guy, so I don't really need these visual codings. But if you do need, you have to go ahead and go to the asset store and purchase or pick up an asset at least who which is going to support visual coding but if you're not the type you're not going to be able you're not going to have to spend any money on that at least so that's a positive thing but if you're like well unity has an easy workflow and um, i'm going to be able to you know get visual coding if i purchase this asset so i'm fine with it then go for it like there's no problem with that at least on the other side though unreal engine is heavily based upon visual coding from as a difference from unity uh, which is called blueprints in Unreal Engine and you must learn it almost must learn it either way Even if you're just a programmer and you want to use programming you still need to use blueprints for something and um, Like really small things, but you can also make an entire game out of blueprints But I was like discussing for a few months ago that blueprints wasn't that like advanced but I still like hold my position in that but it's advanced, like it is advanced. I was just wording myself incorrectly, so I'm, I apologize if I upset some people there, but basically Unreal, and Unreal Engine's blueprints can be used to uh, as a normal, regular visual coding. And what I think is cool about Unreal Engine, however, is the fact that they support visual coding by uh, default, which Unity doesn't, even though there are so many designers that are working on Unity, and they pretty much like have to learn coding for some reason because of that, but basically, uh, I'm not the type of guy who uses blueprints. I don't like it. I dislike blueprints or visual coding in its general. I don't even use visual coding in Unity either. So it's not something that I have against blueprints. It's just visual coding in its general that I dislike, honestly. But that's biased. Just because I dislike visual coding, it doesn't mean that you have to dislike it as well. And if you feel like, well, you know, bl blueprints are the primary way of coding in Unreal Engine, what should I do? Should I stay at Unity? I'm not telling you to stay at Unity, but I'm not also telling you, I'm not, I'm neither telling you to switch over to Unreal Engine just because of that. Go ahead and check it out though. Like, once again, I'm just telling you. Pick, like place the thought of making a game onto the table for the moment and go to Unreal Engine and test out the visual coding. Return to Unity and test out the visual coding there by using these assets or whatever if you have the resources. If not, and you can go to Unreal Engine to try the blueprints out, visual coding out. If you feel like you're really good with that and it's it, you know it feels better for you, go for it. I mean, there is nothing stopping you, literally. 
So just don't get caught up in this hype of people like telling you, oh, blueprints are bad or oh, coding is bad. Coding isn't needed because blueprints are there. It's really just up to you, honestly. But if you're gonna start working on Unreal Engine, I can at least tell you from my personal experience, expect a lot, a lot, a lot of blueprints and visual coding in general. Just expect that. Also, you should ask yourself why you want to switch over. There will 95%, it's 95% that there will be a solution to the problem you're living through and you're suffering. Let's say you have the problem of having bad graphics in Unity and you're like, well, you're at the point where you're like, well, Unity really doesn't support any good graphics. I challenge you to actually take that statement back and try to find something that is suitable for you on Unity in terms of assets because once again, Unity has good graphics by standard too, but they are not enough for making a good looking game, like good, good looking game. You can still make a good looking game, but it's not going to be good, like <laughs> really good. So I just challenge you to, you know, check out some tutorials on post-processing. Um, especially with Unity 5.6, the Unity post-processing stack, which is their new way of actually adding image effects to the scenes. Uh, it's, you know, improved Unity's game so much. I mean, it's it was literally a game changer and I still, to this day, I'm so happy that they implemented the new system. Um, it's incredible, so I suggest you to check it out. And if you don't really know how to check, you know, actually implement that into your game, check out some tutorials. My channel also has a useful tutorial for that, but if you're not happy with my tutorial, check out some other videos. And even if you do check out my video, it's not perfect, so go ahead and check out some other videos too. Just make sure that you invest some of your time into this so that you can actually feel like, well, I'm putting my effort and time into this and learning the best way I can. Because picking a game engine is very important, but switching over from one to another is very, very sensitive and more than important. So you just have to make sure that you're 100% sure about this action, because if you have come a far, like a long way, or even just a little bit with your game, it almost means that you're going to overwrite almost everything in your primary game because if you switch your project from Unity to Unreal Engine, the codes and the scripts are not going to be supported, obviously. And if you do vice versa, it's not going to be supported either. So it's a very big decision. So I just challenge you to actually take your time and invest into this and see what I, what engine just fits you the best. And as a conclusion, I just want to tell you guys, don't get caught up on the hype of X engine is terrible, use Z instead. It's all biased. Once again, like I'm just trying to highlight this as much as possible because it's literally the most important tip and feedback I can give you guys in terms of this topic. Because as soon as you see someone telling you Unity is bad because it has terrible graphics, know that it's biased because Unity, if Unity had no good graphics, it wouldn't be one of the biggest competitors in the market right now and the most popular game engine. And same goes for Unreal Engine. If you see somebody saying, well, Unreal Engine is the worst engine I've ever tried because blueprints, because visual coding, it's not true, it's false. And if we, even if they say Unity is better because it doesn't support any built-in visual coding and it's not stupid, it's still false because there's so, so, so much people enjoying visual coding in uh, Unreal Engine. I personally thought that it was actually pretty cool because they had made it so advanced, but I still don't pick it over coding, but this is biased as well. So you shouldn't quote me when you're picking a game engine. You shouldn't be like, well, Psycho said, blueprints aren't good because he's a programmer because that doesn't have to do anything with you right so if you're gonna switch over your game from unity to unreal engine and you feel like well or vice versa and you feel like well psycho said this and that about blueprints it's not going to be a you know uh, it's not really a suggestive action for you to take when you switch over because it's it's just going to be my biased opinion that is going to influence you which i really don't want to and um, I'm like, I'm not trying to influence your thoughts, but I'm just saying literally don't let anybody else influence you either. Just go ahead and try the engines out by yourself and see which one fits you the best. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And um, if you did, make sure to leave a like down below and hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video to make sure that you stay up to tune for new cool content like this. I have a lot of videos and a lot of video ideas that are coming up soon on my channel. And um, also leave a comment letting us know what your engine is and what your primary engine and what your favorite one is. 
um, if you feel like it's worth switching over from Unity to Unreal Engine or vice versa. And also if you have done it and you have personal experience, you're always more than welcome to share your personal experiences and your personal thoughts. And also if you have any feedback or suggestions about what video should come up next, let me know in the comments and I'll read that and reply to you. And with that being said guys, thank you so much for all the support lately. We have reached 10,000 subscribers plus now. And I also have a 10k Q&A video which is up right now. It should be up right now or else it's going to be up after this video. But I will be linking that in the description below and in the comments section too. So check it out. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the comments. See you guys. Peace out. Bye bye.